Ray and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. In this chapter, we're going to be using more of the Light Vortex Astronomy tutorials. Uh, and specifically in this particular chapter, we're going to be creating a master bias. Now, if you notice in his workflow here, we're going through a master super bias, which I had heard reference to but had never seen before. Uh, master dark, master flat. So it's one workflow. Uh, we're going to be concentrated on creating a master bias. And then the next chapter we'll go over the super bias. Uh, but we got to do the master bias before we get to the, bi the uh, super bias. All right. So with that, let's get back over here to PixInsight. All right, so what we're going to want to do is come up here to process, all processes, image integration. And we basically start from the top and we're going to move to the bottom. Now, if you notice in my previous videos, I had process icons over here. I don't now because I will be creating process icons uh, as we go. Because uh, I learned a little trick here. Anything you set here in the process itself, when you create the new process icon by dragging it, it retains that information. Okay? I had not known that before. So, uh, we're going to rebuild my price process icon set based off of the parameters we set in here. So once we have this open, we go to Add Files. And I'm going to come over here to my working directory. And we're going to be doing uh, the biases. And I should have about 200 here. They're relatively easy to, easy to take. I, would, I personally would recommend, based on what I've read, seen, heard, uh, you don't want to do less than 10. And that, that it goes across everything. Bias, flat, dark, the whole nine yards. Uh, but, you know, it, it's one of those, the more the better. But since it is a uh, square of 10 benefit, um, you know, if you have one image, it's so good. Uh, if you have 10, image, 10 images, it's the square root of... 10 times better and then 100 and is it square root of 100 anyways it's a, it's a square root equation and you kind of have to go in multiples of 10 to get noticed improvement and uh, so 100 is where I started uh, before I found that little tidbit of information I had done 200 uh, so 100 is probably where I would go because the next point up would be 1,000 and I'm not taking 1,000 uh, if I'm wrong by all means correct me in the comments I'll be curious to know uh, what, you, what you think about that um, so we're we've got our files added uh, we're not touching the format hints or any other uh, data up here. Okay, so what we're going to want here is in combination. Now again, this is all the recommendations from uh, Chiron's tutorial. Is average in com combination. No normalization in the norm normalization field. Weights don't care. Literally the don't care selection. I kind of like the irony in that because we really don't care about weights right now. And then we also want to uncheck evaluate noise. All right, and we're going to leave the rest there. We're going to come down here to pixel rejection and we're going to now this one is based on according to Chiron's data and other people's data, uh, based on the number of 
uh, images you have. If you have over 20 images, linear fit, fit clipping. I believe it's like 5 to 20 or 10 to 20. You want Windsorized eyes clipping and under, you, you know, I uh, can't remember if it's sigma or percentile. Either way, go check out the tutorial. Go check out Warren Keller's book. Um, they all say the same thing. I have over 20, so I want linear, flick, linear fit clipping. In addition, we want to keep everything check marked except for the two ranges. So we're going to uncheck clip low and we're going to keep clip high unchecked here. All right. Next, I forgot normalization. We want no normalization. And again, ensure I had to reset and start back over. That's why that was rechecked. Um, so through the fancy editing, I forgot to uncheck that before I click cut back in here. So, uh, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, now in the screenshots Chiron provides, he has the generate rejection maps uh, check marked or unchecked rather. I kind of like to leave it checked myself. I like to look at those maps, but hey, you know, you never know. Do you? And we'll all be good. I believe the rest we leave the same. And with that, we'll just hit the apply global. But before that, I want to create a process edit that identifier and say master bias and we'll put that up there and that's where we're going to start building the process icon set now if I open that up Let's just test that real quick. If we open that up, you'll notice all of our settings remain the same. So if I needed to do another set, I would just hit clear and add my new files. Everything else, I don't have to worry about remembering. It's already there. So we're going to just apply global. We don't have an image to do the drag and drop on. So we need to apply the global, which is going to apply it to all of these files in here. And we'll move that out of the way. And it's going to take some time. And so I'll pause the video and be back when this completes. All right, welcome back. As you can see, it took about 25 minutes to complete that. And let's close this out. And let's look at our integration. Let's stretch that. And you can see some banding. A little dark spot down here in the corner. But that is our master bias. So now we just need to save that. So we're going to come back up here to my calibration masters. And we will call this master bias. February 2019. So 1600. And I mistakenly selected JPEG. We don't want to do JPEG. So let's go back. And 
According to Chiron's tutorials, he always recommends doing fits. Uh, I, you know, that, that will allow you to use other programs. Uh, since I exclusively use PixInsight, I use the XISF format. And we will click OK. And we will close this out. So next up, we'll have to make the super bias, but that will be in a different chapter. So with that, I want to say thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit, ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next chapter. Have a good one.